Hey, Dominic, the CX guy here. Nice to see you again. So Zendesk consultant here, eight years of experience, two years of being a Zendesk partner, and I've just completed a six-month subcontracting agreement with Zendesk. I learned a lot, and I'm here to share some of that information. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, the limitations of the agent workspace environment. So for you, those of you who don't know, this is a new feature from Zendesk which is trying to, well, it's not trying, it's doing it. It's taking the chat experience, which, which Zendesk used to have in a different platform, Zopim, and it's taking that over into the support interface and it's calling it agent workspace. However, bringing the entire chat platform into a support system in this agent workspace that is called, takes a bit of time and not all the features are available. And there are some limitations uh, of um, part of which I would like to cover during today's uh, video. So let's get right to it. So there are some chat limitations. And mainly if you have a large number of, um, of support agents for chat, then you might want to reduce that number to not reduce it, but limit it to 1300, 1300 online agents, which is a lot. Um, so no more than 4,000 concurrent chats, which is also a lot, and 200,000 chats total per day, and no more than, for example, 6,000 concurrent visitors uh, with 300,000 total visits per day. So you have to keep in mind if you have a large organization that supports chat. Uh, apps and macros are available for chats with the following limitations. Um, it's great because um, you were able to use and you're still able to use shortcuts in chat, but uh, right now you will be able to use macros, which is amazing because with macros, you can also use dynamic content to support multiple languages, but there are some limitations and those are support apps uh, have limitations during chat. So there's a ticket uh, editing API. So some of these apps will not be uh, added um, to, uh, would not be adding uh, content in chats. Chat apps cannot be downloaded into the Zendesk uh, agent workspace, which agent workspace is part of Zendesk support. So it's a different environment altogether. So the apps won't work. Uh, macros that switch the assignee value to an online agent do not initiate a chat transfer. So when the original uh, user submits the ticket, uh, the ticket assignee is updated uh, to an online agent and the chat is ended. Uh, macros can post uh, text into chats um, but tech indentions are not supported. Um, so then another limitation is if you want to prevent application conflicts uh, and potential tracking issues, Zendesk does not recommend using the support chat app um, with the Zendesk uh, agent workspace. Uh, when the agent workspace is enabled, the support chat uh, app is automatically disabled on your account. Um, so this is something which makes sense, right? Because you don't want to have two different environments serving your chats that can become very confusing. Chat actions such as invite an agent um, or start a conversation with another agent, so, which is not a visitor um, or exporting a transcript. Um, and uh, for example, banning a user are also not supported. Um, the deal breaker for many companies that I've worked with was this um, inviting an agent into the chat. So for example, you are supporting a, a, a customer and you don't know how to deal with that request as an agent and you want to invite a supervisor or a teammate that can uh, help you and they would be able to listen in essentially and uh, give you advice. This is not supported in agent workspace, unfortunately. Uh, chat shortcuts with options are not supported. So the options like um, was this helpful for you or not or um, do you want to, for example, uh, do you want to receive support uh, uh, for this uh, option or for this other option? So I'm sure you're familiar with that. That's also not available. Um, dynamic content is not also not supported in, uh, in, um, in uh, chat shortcuts, which is a very big uh, no-no. You are able to use a Zendesk app for that uh, from the marketplace, but it doesn't work wonderfully. Uh, it works in some cases, but um, for example, if you want to set triggers, it doesn't work. If you want to set chatbots, it doesn't uh, doesn't work. So it's not necessarily the best. Uh, agents must end all uh, chats before logging out. Um, after migrating chat departments to support groups, um, app developers should update all public APIs for chat department to uh, create, update, and delete. 
for public APIs for support group, create, update, and delete. So agents with custom roles may not be able to use the agent workspace before, uh, because of channel specific uh, settings. So make sure your uh, custom roles allow for chat access. Light agents cannot serve chats um, in the Zenesk agent workspace. They need to be upgraded to regular agents. I, idle timeout is no longer available. So when agents uh, use their mobile app, uh, chat tickets may show an unsupported ticket error, even when the chat has ended. So yeah, it's not very uh, amazing to be honest. But Zenesk, uh, the great news is that Zenesk is working on um, solving these and uh, it's on its roadmap and it's going to be uh, coming soon. Uh, so within maybe the next year, all of these features and functionalities will be available. So now ticket limitations. So um, if you remember, there's um, um, a section that includes some uh, um, assigning a ticket to, uh, to yourself that is no longer available. It's like that small. Uh, um, that small URL or uh, highlighting highlighted blue link, which says assign, you're no longer able to access that, but uh, that's not necessarily that's such a big, uh, big issue. Security limitations. So unlike support, chat does not support the concept of uh, restricted agents. So all chats have access to all chat messages. If you are using restricted agents, such as light agents and support, it is possible for those agents to access chat uh, messages with the unpublished API. The light agents can serve the chat in the chat mobile app, but they cannot serve chats in the agent workspace. Uh, dashboard limitations. So administrators would not be able to initiate proactive chats. Visitor list only has information about ongoing conversations. So uh, visitor level browsing information is not available. Instead, uh, refer to a visitor path in the agent workspace. Tags are not visible in chat history. So admins will not, uh, admins will be uh, redirected to the agent workspace to view or edit any tags associated with that ticket. Limitations for agents uh, include multi agent conversation options are not supported, and agents will not be able to initiate uh, chats, which yeah, I mentioned a little bit earlier as well. Export transcript, transcript uh, option is not available for ongoing chats. Agents cannot ban visitors based on cookies, but they can ban them based on IP address. Custom chat apps are not available. So if you, for example, have chat apps that you were very happy with, those are not going to be working in um, the uh, agent workspace because it's a, it's a different environment to itself. Messaging limitations. So service level agreements are not going to be uh, supported for messaging tickets. So SLAs do not work reliable, reliably as agents typically don't change uh, the ticket status um, after each reply. You cannot create follow-up tickets for messaging. Administrators can manage uh, routing setting for messages ticket for messaging tickets um, from the chatbot dashboard. Uh, chat skill-based routing only supports live chats um, and it is not supported for messaging tickets. So it's a little bit, um, problematic. That's a feature which I don't necessarily like. Incidents can link to problem tickets, but when the problem ticket is solved, public comments are sent via email only if the user has an email address in their public profile. Uh, Sunshine conversations do not receive events from, the what's, from, from, the, from WhatsApp if the business number is blocked by an end user. In this case, the event log will not show the delivery status of an agent message sent to the end user. So if there are multiple accounts defined for the same channel type, for example, WhatsApp, the ticket can be routed um, by only channel type, not by a specific integration account. And there are some data center limit, data location, um, data center location limitations. So currently not all features in Zenesk agent workspace are supported in the data center uh, of Zenesk. So for example, uh, messaging uh, apps, messaging um, messages <laughs> um, are not going to be, be able to be hosted in uh, any other place besides the US for the moment. Um, that is one of the limitations, which is not great. Um, so yeah. That's the, let's say the main uh, 
problem here. So in essence, this is um, these are some of the limitations that um, it is. The great news is that Sandisk is working on it to bring everything together and uh, solve these features one by one. Uh, it is on their roadmap, and uh, these are being worked being worked on as we speak. So yeah, uh, agent workspace is going to be the future because obviously you want to have everything into one interface. You don't want to have multiple, right? Because right now you have to work in support to handle email, to handle um, uh, web form, to handle API, to handle, um, yeah, for example, um, what else? Um, yeah, all channels except chat and messaging are handled in support. While chat, for example, is handled in the chat interface, which it's not necessarily the great because, greatest because it's a different interface altogether. So Zenesk is bringing all these together. So yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, drop me a line, drop me a comment. I'll be happy to look into to answer you. See you. Bye bye.